so good to be back here. You guys have no idea. So I'm sorry that I kind of left you guys really abruptly, didn't give any explanation. If anything like that ever happens, make sure you're following me on Instagram and check the community tab. I post on the community tab when something like that is gonna happen and I'm kind of gonna be gone for a little while. Anyways, I hope you guys are all finding a way to stay sane during this quarantine. I'm sorry I couldn't post for the last week and I have to give you guys something to watch, but like I said, I didn't know I was gonna go home so I didn't have anything planned to kind of do. And then because I'm a respectful person, because I know it's what you're supposed to do, but there's a lot of people out there who aren't doing it. I was in the airport, I was on an airplane, so I went home and I self-quarantined myself basically just from my parents' house. So I didn't really have the ability to go do much and now that we flew back here, I'm gonna self quarantine myself here for another two weeks. We live with Brad and Cass, so you guys will probably see Brad and Cass, but that's probably all you're gonna see for the next little while. So like I've been saying, I didn't plan to go home and what actually ended up happening, you guys know I'm always very transparent, very straightforward with you guys. What ended up happening was two Saturdays ago, I actually got news that my uncle had passed away. It had nothing to do with everything that's going on right now. It was very unexpected, no one saw it coming, it wasn't supposed to happen, so I just, being me, I just got on a plane next day and I just left. And I was like, you know what? You guys will understand, which I'm sure you will. And that's essentially where I went. And then, like I said, I got there. I quarantined myself in my parents' house. I hung out with my brothers. I cut my own hair because I got insanely bored. I've just been going nuts. Quarantine sucks. And I am so sorry for all you guys that are in it and can't go to work and can't do stuff. Thankfully, this is my shop, and I'm not putting anybody at risk coming here. So I was only home for like a week and a half, and I almost lost it. Anyways, to get you guys up to speed with anything that kind of happened while I was gone, all right, I guess right before we left, we can start there. We now bought a label printer, and we did this. We, we, we got like a sample size label thing, so we didn't actually have enough to fill them all, but this looks so much better with a label printer, and then like we just organized these by sizing. It, it's un, it's unreal. So we did that the day before I got on the plane. Our trailer sold, our old trailer, the DIY one that we made, we actually sold that, Brad sold it while I was gone. I just realized might be something that only the members understand for now. And then the last thing worth mentioning that I'm gonna show you guys really, really quickly because I don't wanna bore you guys to death, we have new hoodies. We're still waiting for the jet tags to show up. We have some new jet tags coming and like the stickers and stuff, just the whole situation that the world's going through right now is just delaying everything. So we only have the hoodies so far, so I don't have a official release date. Follow the committed crew, follow me on Instagram, and just keep up to date with the videos if you guys are interested. Anyways, can we show them this very quickly? Courtney's wearing one today, I didn't wear one because I wanted to get product shots before I completely ruined mine. All right, so look at these. You guys have been bugging me for Stay Committed merch for the longest time. I hear you guys, and I was down to do something. So. This is the same sweater that we do every time. You guys know if you have any of these, these are like the comfiest, softest. Pretty freaking comfy. And then instead of doing the normal like full cross chest um, stitching, what we did was we just embroidered little Stay Committed guy up here. Thanks for ruining it while you fix your hair. Then, something that all the new merch is gonna have, hopefully forever, is we got these little patches sewn on here, these little tags. What's cool about these is this says like spring 2020. So all the merch is gonna be kind of date stamped like that, which I think is really, really cool. So everything's gonna say like spring 2020 and then if I rerun that same sweater next winter, it'll say like winter 2021 and then you'll be able to say like, hey, I have this sweater, but I bought it in spring 2020 versus having just bought it at the new merch shop kind of thing. To me, it's a really cool idea. It kind of just like shows when you guys participated in the merch shop and shows even if I release that sweater four more times, you can prove like when you got it. I think it's dope. I hope you guys like it. It's just a little level up for the merch. Anyways, now that I'm home, I wanna show you guys something. seats that we installed like right before I think it was the last video I actually posted this is my unpaid personal opinion these are amazing seats these things are like the nicest bucket seat reclinable bucket seat I think I've ever actually sat in or like worked with there's just there's just one little thing about it Courtney's already sat in the seat this is obviously we got here and we got home the other day just sit down and just give me the exact first thought you think when you sit down this thing is just the most uncomfortable thing ever. The lumbar support? Yeah. You were trying to stay, like, sitted up straight? Sitted? You are trying to stay <laughs> up straight? In a, okay, in, a, in, a, in a race car, those seats would be perfect. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you need to stay sitting straight, it's going to have you sitting straight. Right, but in a car that we're going to be doing road trips and stuff in. Like, getting here is uncomfortable. Yeah. I have to, like, 
sit up from it. Forces you into this like position where you're kind of sitting upright, you're very alert, you can't really relax. Um, it, it's not overly aggressive, it's just unadjustable and that's the problem. And what I decided I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy um, seat rails that go into the Genesis because the Genesis is gonna be a dedicated track car and these are, like I keep saying, I, I really do love these seats. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the rails for the Jenny throw these things in there, that way they'll get used properly, we can put the harness bars and everything in the Genesis, and they'll be more appropriately used. It'd be almost ridiculous if you have harnesses in your BRZ. It's, it's, I'm about to get there. Ow, did you hear that? <laughs> What the heck, dude, I just got electrocuted. Oh, now this, this is the second thing I wanna to talk to you guys about. I'm just gonna tell you guys exactly what's going on. And this is the point of what I'm trying to get across in today's video. This is, this is the main purpose of what I want you guys to hear. This is 100% nothing against anybody. Just hear me out, are you ready? When I was at home, I didn't have anything, for the first time in, in the long time of me doing YouTube, I didn't have anything to do. Normally, I would even like, even when I went on vacation like a month ago, I prep videos, I have videos pre-filmed. Even when I'm on vacation, I'm kind of like working a little bit, making sure they go out on time, uploading them, doing all the, the necessary stuff to get that going. Um, this was the first time since I think I really started doing YouTube full time where I fully aborted. I was seeing like what I'm doing, I was seeing it like over here. I was able to like look at what I'm doing from the outside instead of being inside of it. In my position, I started this out playing with cars for fun and something like racing seats and something like a racing steering wheel of course is in this car. Look, look how stupid this wing is. I love it. It's obnoxious. This whole car, that's the point. Something like the Genesis is a dedicated track car. It needs things like seats and steering wheels and all the little things that are like tunery or whatever you want to call them. I think I'm going too far with the BRZ in a direction that I wasn't wanting to go. As everything kind of picked up for me, I started making friends at like places like Buddy Club and places like D&D. &D. And a simple thing like, hey, you know what? I'm putting a Karma body kit on my BRZ. I don't think I should keep these wish tail lights anymore. I should probably get some nice tail lights turns into, you know, well, well, we offer the tail lights, but we also have really nice seats, and would you be interested in the seats? And we can get you hooked up with some harnesses if you want the seats. Get into this mindset of like, just any parts are videos, if that makes sense. And I started to just say yes to a lot of things. And it was like, oh, I can get a good deal on this, make a video with this part. And that's honestly, like, that's how it works. I'm just being very straightforward with you guys. Like, that's how it works. Like, it's like, okay, so I can get a little bit of a better deal on this. I'm gonna buy it. I kind of lost touch with what I wanted to do to make me happy versus how much could I get to make the most po possible content for you guys. What I'm trying to say is that I, w I had the chance to sit back and look at the BRZ and just think, I love this car, I've always loved this car. This is like my favorite build that we are doing. But I don't want it to go too far in a direction that I'm not gonna like driving it anymore. I think you could also probably say that I'm just like maturing as a car enthusiast. I've been doing this for a couple of years now and as you start to do more and more and more, you start to realize like sometimes it's better to do less and I wanted to start doing them the way I want them. So something else that I also brought today, I still have the OEM steering wheel. It's been sitting on a shelf for the longest time. This guy has the horn, has the cruise control, and it is like a really nice leather wrapped wheel. And there's been a lot of times where I really wished I had a horn, or I really wish I had cruise control. Like when we drove all the way to California last year, cruise control would have been unreal. This is something that I did like when I first got the car. It was a little wink mirror. It was funny, I guess. It was cool. I think I just kind of grew out of it, you know? Like, and that's, a, that's okay. YouTuber that's putting his stock steering wheel back. I recognized that what I was doing was a young boy car thing, <laughs> you know? I'm, I, I would never, I don't really like saying I matured, but like I feel like I did. Oh, I almost did a thing where I messed with the airbags with the battery on. What does that mean? Just don't do that. Just don't do that. Why? Because what if you plug in the black one first and the black one first means this explodes. And then see all these in my face. Clips in. Hey. 
Hey, there we go. It's amazing how much you miss a stupid little thing like having a horn. But dude, this, like this is just, this is the car that I fell in love with. This is like, the seat is just more comfortable for daily driving. Like the steering wheel is A, safer, B, has a horn, and three, C, has the cruise control again, which is kind of nice. And it's also just a nice wheel. Like the, it, the BRZ has a genuinely nice interior. And most people would agree that the interior of this thing stock is very nice. And it was one of my favorite things about this car. I don't want to have overkilled it and not enjoy the car. I would like to get a new little carbon piece, get an OEM, or get maybe a new radio with like a car play or something, a little bit more updated screen there. And then I'm gonna go search around and see if I can find the OEM mirror and just ditch this one. I won't take it out yet because I, I don't know where the OEM one is. But yeah, so since I started driving this car, I probably drove it for maybe a week or so. And I think it rained like the two days before we went home. And then I just left the car here. Dude, look how Dirty, this one's not even bad. This side is so bad. <laughs> Look how nasty this is. So this is a flat lip and then there's actually like a step back here. So water pools in here, especially with the camera that it has. Water pools in there and there's like a little lake down here that just does one of these things right here. So when it rains really bad, it just sits there and then when the rain dries up, it just collects poo. So I feel like by the end of the summer, I'm going to be very, very efficient at cleaning three-piece wheels. so good to be back and have my car clean and just be home and have my things that's the one thing that sucked about like the way we just left really randomly is that oh my god this is dirty um, I didn't really bring any of my things like I, I didn't really plan too much I just left and I was there for so long with nothing and it just it feels really good to be home have this thing all cleaned up dude I love it so I gotta find a Subaru badge that'll fit here and I gotta find the karma badge that goes there. Obviously there's still a couple things I wanna do to this car, I'm not gonna name them because I name them all the time. But I mean, as far as what we did today, I know a lot of people comment and say I should get rid of this. Um, what you guys don't know, for the people that are commenting, is that we're painting this whole car. This wrap is just like, we're wrapped it for now because that's what we're gonna do, but one day I'm gonna paint the whole car and that will include getting these, whatever, color matched or just painted white or black or something like that. So I'm not gonna spend the time right now to make them black or white, which would look kind of better with the door jam open and closed. Um, we will be painting. The simplicity and niceness of just a stock BRZ interior. I can just get behind this all day. No more airbag lights. I will actually have an airbag here. I have my airbags back in my seat. I'm just happy. This is something that I wanted to do. Oh my God, keep your wits about you. Maybe that's a good way to put it. It's easy for someone, especially like me, where people are like offering discounts and, and wanting to work with me and being, you know, really good people. It's easy to get carried away in doing something that I don't necessarily love. And I bought this car because I loved it and maybe that's not your opinion, but that's mine. And having it like this right now, aside from the fact that I have no gas pedal, I'm literally revving it like this deep because I didn't take the battery off. Um, my heated seats are back. I hope you guys enjoy this too. I'm gonna go rip this thing home and go probably to bed because we <laughs> we slept three hours last night and then we woke up and then got on a five hour flight here and then we landed here. I drove right to the warehouse, picked up Courtney's car, drove back home, swapped Courtney's car for the BRZ, drove all the way back to the warehouse, filmed all day and now it's like six o'clock and now I'm headed all the way back home and I'm gonna go to bed. So if you guys made it this far, comment mashed potatoes. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out and stay committed.